everybody. So guess what? I drove down here to Chula Vista to go to the Goodwill and I'm sitting outside the Goodwill now. I found some amazing books. Okay, so you know how when you're walking around inside of the thrift store and they have like these displays that are by color, like they have all this stuff that's like purple, yellow, orange, and it's like really neat display with shoes and books and all that. Well, I decided and trusted my gut instinct to just go ahead and do that lap around the store. Let me tell you what I found. I came across this display. See that? Look at this. <laughs> Nothing to see here by Kevin Wilson. And it cost me $1.99. This one was supposed to be really good, highly recommended, um, great reviews. And I'm super excited that I found it because it is a hard to find book. Another one that I found that was $1.99 that was super amazing is Hush. Uh, by Mark uh, Ninkinen, Nikanen, Nikanen, Mark Nikanen Hush, a well-crafted and sophisticated psychological thriller that captures in frightening detail the fevered inner life of a psychopath. A well-crafted and sophisticated psychological thriller that captures the frightening detail, the fevered inner life of a psychopath. Elegant and darkly powerful. This is gonna be really good. This one um, did have the sticker of $2.99, so I did have to pay $2.99 for it, and I didn't mind. Another one that I found that was a really good find that I'm super excited about is Stiff by Mary Roach. Stiff makes being dead funny fascinating and weirdly appealing. To learn the weight of the human soul in 1907, a Massachusetts physician engineered a special bed scale upon which he installed his dying patients. At the precise moment of their passing, he watched a downward twitch of the needle. By his determination, the soul weighs three quarters of an ounce, about the same as the big toe. This is going to be super interesting. I am super excited. $1.99. Another one that I found that I'm super excited about is In the Heart of the Sea, The Tragedy of the Whaleship Essex. Nathaniel Palbrick has taken one of the most horrifying stories in the maritime history and turned it into a classic. Rich with detail on topics ranging from the celestial navigation of the whale biology to the history of cannibalism, this historical writing at its best, at the same time, one of the most chilling books I have ever read. And this is Sebastian Junger, author of The Perfect Storm. That was his review on this book. So a true tale um, with tragedy, but very excited to read it and see what kind of twist and turns he embellishes in this story. $1.99. Another one that I found that is super cute and it's a thing that I tend to do. Um, I like classics. This is TV Mania Timeline of Television by Edith Pavis and Judith Henry. It's a name that tune, place that face, year by year picture history of America's favorite pastime television. And I like how they did this to make it look like a little old school TV, which is super cute. And that one was also $1.99. So $1.99 at Goodwill in Chula Vista on Broadway, it came to a total of $11. So four books at $1.99 and one book at $2.99. Salvation Army also here on Broadway in Chula Vista. I got six books at $1 and two books at $2. So I spent a total of $10 even, and I can't see that either because the light just burns out. I got this one called Mort a novel by Robert Rapino. It's an epic science fiction thriller. Mort will stick with you long after you close the pages. This looks really neat. It's, uh, the war with no name has begun the human extinction as its goal. The instigator of the war is the colony, the race of the intelligent ants who for thousands of years have been silently building an angry army that will forever eradicate the destructive oppressive humans. Under the colony's watchful eye, this utopia will be free of humans, pension for violence, exploitation, and religious superstition. A final step in the war effort, the colony uses the strange technology to transform the surface animals into high-functioning two-legged beings who rise up to kill their masters. Former house cat turned war hero Mort, M-O-R-T with an E, is famous for taking the most dangerous mission in fighting the dreaded human bioweapon E-M-S-A-H. But the true motivation behind the recklessness is ongoing search for a pre-transformation friend, a dog named Sheba. 
when he receives a mysterious message from the dwindling human resistance claiming Sheba is alive, he begins a journey that will take him from the remaining human strongholds to the heart of the colony where he will discover the source of EMSAH and the ultimate fate of all Earth's creatures. Sounds really good. And that one was a dollar. Next one is Joe Nesbo, the snowman. And this is one about a kid who's at home. He wakes up, his mom disappears, and there's traces left behind. That's all I know. Looks like it's going to be a really good read. That one was a dollar. Another one I got is called Still Alice. This is a novel by Lisa Genova. And on the front, it says, heartbreakingly real, so real, in fact, that it kept me from sleeping for several nights. I could have put it down. Still Alice is a story that must be told. This is the New York Times bestselling author of The Lace Reader. Um, the name is really hard to say, but let me try and not murder it. Brenonia Berry. Um, it's about someone with Alzheimer's and I guess she's like a professor or something. I think if I read the synopsis right. And she's going in a down spiral in this and um, it's a chilling story. It's supposed to be good. I work in the field in geriatrics, so um, this is right up my alley being in geriatrics. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This is a classic novel from the 1960s by Ken uh, Kessis. And I think we all know about this. It's about a mental institution, so this is going to be really good as well. I got two children's books for my granddaughter, of course. Alphabet, you know, where it shows the big letters and words, and then I got words, which is super cute. Those ones are the ones that cost me $1.99 each, but I like the big, thick, strong books, uh, so my granddaughter can't tear them apart so easily. The Short Second Life of Bree Tanner. I have a set of Twilight already. Um, this is Stephanie Myers. Uh, Bree was the vampire in, uh, was it the second one? I believe it was the second one, where the girl in the red hair built her army and she was the last one to survive and um, the Volturi killed her even though um, they tried to save her, but she was the last of the newborns. So this book is about her brief life. Uh, this one was a dollar I got it because I did promise a friend she could have my second set of Twilight and I'll be giving her this book along with it, which is gonna be fantastic. Mary Higgins Clark. This is someone that I found that had three of the novels and now this is the single by itself, The Cradle Will Fall, which the, was made into the movie, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. This is a great find. It's a very old school and probably written back in the 80s, a first edition, I would assume. Yes, 1980, first edition. All right, well, those are my finds for today. Please like and subscribe and follow me and I will help you build your library.